another great organization, Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada, always doing so much in our community. And they are calling on the community to help continue its annual Thanksgiving turkey drive. The nonprofit expected to provide a Thanksgiving turkey and fixings to what? 4,200 of the city's most vulnerable families. We've got Deacon Tom Roberts joining us with more information. So we've got a big demand this year, and you were saying it's up about 20% even, right? Yes, sadly, we're seeing more demand. So as most of us are seeing some level of recovery, um, there are so many that are still struggling, trying to put food on the table, just not making enough money to make ends meet, and certainly not enough money for a holiday meal. So this turkey and the fixings that they get in our pantry mm -hmm. are really the opportunity for them to have a great holiday and hopefully for our community as they've always done to support us so that we can help others have a great Thanksgiving too. Yeah, because it can be expensive. You've got the turkey, you've got all the other things and you want to have the whole thing. It's a special day and a lot of these folks also have big families, right? Sometimes uh, families will get together because maybe only one family can afford to do the turkey and they'll bring the fixings with them but to know that they have a place to go where people care to give them a choice in the pantry mm -hmm. along with the frozen turkey um, is so important many of them this year the increasing numbers are seniors and family so there's great needs in our community for people that sadly suffer silently mm -hmm. and how about the food donations you said they have choice things like that so people can donate tur turkeys but can we donate we can donate food too or anything how does it work yes so people can donate um, seven days a week from mm -hmm. 6 a.m to 6 p.m they can bring items down to the campus of frozen turkey any of the fixings that they want to provide mm -hmm. uh, they can also go to our website catholiccherries.com to get more information on the items that we are suggesting that they bring or people that want to make a cash donation so that we can purchase the items that we don't get donated. We want to give everybody a quality holiday and a great Thanksgiving to kick off this holiday season. And how about for people that are watching that go, oh, I could really use that dinner. Um, what do they do to apply to go to the website as well, show up, fill something out? Yes, uh, people that qualify based on income and based on being a Nevada resident can go on our website, get that information. Um, again, we're seeing more people this year than we have in the past. Thank God, because this community has been so mm -hmm. wonderfully supportive of us. We can help more people, but we cannot do it alone. So when the community helps us, we help more people yeah. have a better experience. And I thought it was interesting. We were, were chatting about why, uh, why there's a greater need. And you were saying that we are in recovery mode, but some that are kind of on the lower end, they're not quite there yet, right? Yeah, we see people that generally are struggling because they may not be making the same money they made before the recession or they came back part time or their benefits haven't risen with the costs. Mm -hmm. And so they're simply not getting enough money to be able to have that extra product for Thanksgiving, <laughs> especially towards the end of the month. Mm. That's when they tend to run out of money and run out of food. Our numbers in the pantry go up every month toward the end. In holiday season, there's a special need for product and service. I know the community will pull through. They always do, at least in, in the final days when we find out that you really need help. You're going to be doing the big Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving as well, too, right? Serving meals? Yeah, we'll serve. You know, we serve every day at 10 in the morning our free community meal. We take volunteers every single day to help people come down and experience the gift of service. Uh, we will serve over a thousand folks, families and seniors and veterans, anyone that needs a place to go that doesn't have a home will come down and they get will serve the great meal prepared by our chef and served by wonderful volunteers. So uh, this is a busy season for us and thanks to the community support, we're helping more people. Yeah, definitely. I love looking at the pictures and some of the smiles. And like you said, it's kids, it's adults, it's seniors, it's it's everyone. Look at these kids. Look at happy. And the kids are happy. It's a great family lesson too for kids to donate, right? It's not only just receiving, but kids to actually get something and maybe bring it down to Catholic charities. Sure. We all know, especially as adults, when we give we make more room in our hearts for goodness. Mm -hmm. And we get that gift of healing from the service that we give. Yeah. So when families come and serve and individuals come and serve, uh, they're enriched by the experience. And to be able to have a client come and be served a meal and not stand in line, that's the hope. Mm -hmm. The food is the help, the service is the hope. And thanks to our community support and folks like you that are helping us share the message, uh, we'll provide a great holiday experience for anyone who needs it. All right, thanks so much for coming on, and uh, the community obviously can help, and they can go to your website. It's catholiccharities.com. Got it. Catholiccharities.com. Stay with us. All right, here's tonight's lineup on Friday.